You can create assignment folders in Brightspace, but did you know you can configure them to accept group submissions? This tutorial will show you how to do just that, while at the same time taking advantage of using rubrics to help with grading and also exporting the grade directly to the gradebook. Let's say that the assignment is to create a flipped lesson that includes a multimedia object created using Powtoon, as well as a Google Doc that includes the lesson plan, and a link to the Powtoon object. It's a group assignment, so you want it to be a group submission that any member can post and that all members will receive credit for. We start by creating the groups. Click Assessment. Choose Groups. Click New Category to create a new set of groups. Begin with a name. I'll call it Powtoon Assignment Groups. If I wanted to reuse the groups for different submissions, I might have gone with something more generic like Set 1, for instance. Scrolling down, you can see that there are numerous options. Notice that there are several ways you can assign members. The one that is highlighted, which is to set a number of groups and then assign members to it, is the option we will go with here. We can instead set the size of the groups rather than the number of them. And finally, instead of assigning members manually, as we will do here, we can either let the students self-select or let the system assign them randomly. With the choice made, we can select the number of groups. I will go with five but it can be any number that you think is reasonable. Now, when we scroll a little further, we see that things start to get interesting. Notice that we have the option to automatically set up discussion areas. This will result in one thread per group. This will not be needed in this case, so I will leave it unchecked. We can also set up shared lockers for the various groups. In this case, though, the shared object will be a Google Doc, so it will be unnecessary. Notice, though, that we can also set up group-based assignment folders. This will be needed here, so I will check it. By default, the system expects you to submit a file but there are other options. I will stick with file submission. I will now click Save. Brightspace will go ahead and start setting up the group-based assignment folders. Because I checked the box for setting up assignment folders, Brightspace took me to the right place automatically. I will start by giving the assignment folder a name that matches the submission. That is now done. I could also enter a brief description in the box below the title. I will skip that for now and instead scroll down for other options. Group assignment is already checked. And the groups I just created are also selected. I could also change this if needed, but I will leave it as is. I will scroll further down now. I can select whether to allow only one submission per group or many. I can also choose whether to keep all the submissions or only the last one. And now, Scrolling still further, you can see that we can enter the points that can be obtained from this submission. I will set it at 20, but it can be anything you want. And it's also worth noting that this doesn't have to be what it's worth in the overall grading scheme. For example, 
I may grade the assignment out of 20, but only assign it a value of 10 marks in the overall grading scheme. With that in mind, let's scroll right to the very bottom. Best of all, if you use the gradebook feature here, you get a double benefit. First, the grade you assign will be entered automatically in the gradebook. And second, the system will do whatever conversion you require. If, for example, it's graded out of 20, but only worth 10 points towards the final grade, the number entered in the gradebook will be converted to a mark out of 10, not 20. I will select the correct grade item. By the way, if I needed to add a new grade item to the gradebook, I would click here to do that first. And I can assign a rubric to the assignment by clicking here. This step is also optional. And I will choose this one. If you are interested, there is another tutorial in this same Brightspace module that shows how I created this rubric. Check it out after you have finished this one if you wish to learn more. For now, I will check off that one and click Add Selected. Now, I will complete this part of the process by clicking Create. But I still must assign students to this group. That comes next. Now, let's assign students to the groups. Recall, that's only one of several options as the students may self-select, or Brightspace can add them randomly. You can click the group name to assign students to it. You can do this one at a time, but there is a shortcut, as you will see. I click here to assign students to the group. Notice that I could also change the group name if I wished. This brings up the class list. I scroll through the list and check off the students I want to assign to Group 1. Recall I mentioned that there was a shortcut instead of going back and adding members to the groups. It's here in the drop-down. Once I have enrolled the students in Group 1, I simply use the drop-down and choose Group 2 and then tick off the students for that group. When all of the students are assigned, I click Save to save them all at once. The group assignment is now visible to the students and ready for use. You may wish to add restrictions to it. Perhaps, for example, you want to assign a due date and to only have it visible for a specific period of time. To do that, you would edit the assignment. Click Assessment. Choose Assignments. You can choose Edit from the drop-down for the assignment or simply click right on it. If you do that, it's ready to grade, but you choose Edit Folder. With the folder now open for editing, click Restrictions. And now, you are free to set the due date as well as the times the assignment will be visible to the students. You can add special access if you wish. You might, for example, extend the deadline for those who need it. When done, click Save and Close. Now your group-based assignment is ready for use. The table you see will be updated as students submit their work. To grade the submissions, all you have to do is click on the assignment. And that's it. There's also a tutorial on creating rubrics if you are interested.